I don't know what God will do for you today. I want to read some verses from the last book of the Bible. Book of Revelation chapter 1. Do I need to read in English? Yeah, I better read. No, tell me which verses. Uh, verse uh, 1 to 3, first of all. Uh, Shall I read? Yeah, 1 to 3. You go on, you read 1 to 3. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Kamotzadeba Yeso Christes, Romelitz Mista Masmertma, Rata Chenebina Tavism Sahoristus, Ratsundo da Moch, Ratsunda Mortes Male, Dauts Rada Gaugs of Natavis Angelosis, Mesho, Bitavisim Sahoris Ioannes, Romel Mazda Mots Marti Sit, Rada Yeso Christes Motmoba, Darats Ihila. Net Ariats am Utroli da Momseni, Ansit inas are metro sats inas are metro citrus at the Mashi dats erilis, Shemna Hueli Radgan, Achloa Jami. This is the only book in the Bible that gives you a promise that you will be blessed when you read it. You will be blessed when you read the whole Bible, but this actually says you will be blessed when you read it. And you'll be blessed when you hear it. But the greatest blessing comes when you obey what is in this word. I'm going to share some thoughts from this chapter in a moment. But in the book of Exodus, in chapter 5, you have the record of God sending Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh. And they went to Pharaoh with a message from God. And they said to Pharaoh, God says, let my people go that they may worship me. The Lord says, let my people go. And Pharaoh said this to Moses. Who is the Lord that I should obey him? Hmm? Huh? I want us to think about that this morning. Who is the Lord that you and I should obey him. In 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5 and 6, it says, 1 Corinthians 8, 5 and 6, right? It says, there are those who are called gods, there are those who are called gods. Verse 5. Shall I read it or you will read it and then yeah. I will read it? There are those who are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth. And there are gods many, and there are lords many. But to us, there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Da tuk idev aria negret ode buli gmertebi an sashi an mit aze radgan aris mravali gmerti da mravali upali chwenki erti mama gmerti kaus romli saganats aris qoveli da chwen mistwis vart da erti upali yeso kriste romli smier aris qoveli da chwens mis mier so I travel many parts of the world. And I come across many lords. In Sri Lanka. They worship Lord Buddha. They have a big temple with just one tooth of Buddha in it. A great big building with one tooth in it. And they worship Lord Buddha. I've been in India. India They worship millions of gods. They have Lord Vishnu and other lords. 
But I want to say today, there is only one true Lord. And he is the Lord Jesus Christ. So the answer to Pharaoh's question, who is the Lord that we should obey him? We have the answer here in this book of Revelation. What is a revelation? To give you an example, if someone has done some great deed in history, they usually have a monument made after them. And today, if someone does something special, they may have a monument or a plaque put on a wall. And then there comes a special day that monument, that plaque is covered up. And some uh, special important person will come. And they will pull a cord. And the covering will fall away. And what was covered or hidden before is now there for everyone to see. That's what the word revelation means. A revealing, an uncovering. And God here has revealed to everyone. The wonder, the glorious majesty of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's look at this question. Who is the Lord that we should obey him? In Revelation 1 verse 5 it says, Jesus Christ is the faithful witness. No, no, just he is a faithful witness. That means everything that he says is completely true. You, you can rely upon every word that Jesus he says. He says, the words I speak to you, they're not my words. But they are the words of my father. They are the words of my father. <laughs> so we can rely upon every word that Jesus speaks. But it's important that we obey what Jesus says. Do you remember the wedding of Cana of Galilee? When they ran out of wine. And Mary said to the servant. Whatever he says to you. Do it. Whatever he says to you. To That's why we have to obey him. Because the words he brings are the words of the Father. Who is this Lord that we should obey him? In verse 5 it he says, he's the first begotten of the dead. The first begotten of the dead. What does that really mean? In the Old Testament, there were a, a number of people who died. They were buried. 
Damar Hulikna, and they came to life again. Da Asem Dabrun de Sitsos Haleshi. In the New Testament, Achalat Kamashi. There were people who died. Irn and Adamian was Garda Itonen, Irn and Dakazalumi, the Asem Dabrun de Sitsos Haleshi. Jairus' daughter came back to life. Kalishvili, Iareusis. Lazarus, you've been dead four days. Lazare Romelis, so three days in Kodariko. He came back to life. He sits Ardga. But every one of those people, they all died again. Every one of them. I was in Cyprus. And I saw a tomb. He said the tomb of Lazarus. So he died again. But Jesus, when he died, and he rose from the dead, he will never, ever, ever die again. But he, if he is the first one, if he is the first one, there's a second one. There is a second one. And the third one. And the fourth one. That means every person who is born again of the Spirit of God who becomes a child of God even though we die one day also we shall rise never to die again. That is the glorious message of the Christian faith. Death has lost its thing. Hallelujah. Amen. And it also says in the Bible, we will have a body like Jesus, glorious body. Can you imagine what it was like after Jesus rose from the dead? He could come in a room when all the doors were shut. Hmm? And they were frightened. The disciples, they said, and Jesus said to them, come and touch me. I'm not a spirit. A spirit doesn't have flesh and bones. He didn't have blood because he shed his blood. But he had flesh and bones. And then he said, do you have anything to eat? Now I believe the people in Georgia love to eat. <laughs> so you still be able to eat. <laughs> but because of this, we should obey him. Who is the Lord that we should obey him? In verse 5 it says he is the prince of the kings of the earth. The prince of the kings of the earth. Verse 5, yeah. Yeah, the prince Jesus is not just another king. He is the king of all kings. That's why we should obey him. Who is this Lord? He says he's the one who loved us. If you read history, you'll find that most kings did not love their people. Most kings were very wicked men. If they did not like someone, they would just destroy them. And King Jesus, he had every right to destroy you and me. He had every right to destroy every person who's ever lived. Because the Bible says, we have all sinned. We've all come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, not one. And it says, the soul that sins shall die. So we all deserve to die. 
But he is the king who loved us. Magram isari mete romosets vukharvart. Hallelujah. We have a, a hymn in England we sing. Englishi hymni gwak romosets mgerit. The king of love my shepherd is. Rom chemin tsqem siaris siqarulis mepe. Whose goodness fails never. Romlis romlis siketets aresodes ar galatops. I am nothing lack if he if I am his and he is mine forever. Da ara pri sachiroeba ara maks tu me mashi var da is chem shia samudamot. He is the king of love. Shi igi aris siqarulis mepe. But it goes on. It says that he agzel agzelebs da ambobs. He washed us from our sins in his own blood. Verse sixty-five. He washed us from our sins in his own blood. Da mechute muhlis bolus ambos rom shegvirts ara da sakutari Jesus didn't only love us. Jesus as Adam cholot vuqarwart. But he went to the cross for you and me. Adam et iis juarze avi da shen twist da shen twist. And that cross was a terrible thing. We know we've just celebrated Easter. And we were remembering what happened at Easter. How first of all they beat him, they hit him. They ripped the beard from his face, not just a few hairs, they ripped the beard from his face. They hit him across his face. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Put a crown of thorns. And that blood was flowing from his head. And then they took a whip. They took a whip. With nine parts to it, nine strands. And on those strands were something sharp like pieces of bone and metal, anything sharp, stones, anything that would grip into the flesh. And it's stuck in a rip the flesh from his body. Some people say. So ki Adam yan yan bobs. That Jesus had 39 lashes. Uh, 39 lashes. Ro Jesus ostets khrameti dartqma khonda. Because that's what the Jews would do. Im to ro esi iqo rts esi rogors aketebnen ebraelebi. They would stop at 39. Instead of you gave 40, it would be like a beast. But it wasn't the Jews that beat Jesus. It was the Romans. The Romans never counted how many lashes. Quite often they beat people till they die. And so the flesh was ripped from his body. Then he had to carry that cross. And they put big iron pins through his hands. Not through the palms of his hands. That would never have held him to the cross. Through his wrist. And, and big iron pins to his feet. And they hung there on that cross. The soldier stuck a spear in his side. Have you been there on that day looking at that cross? You would have seen a man who didn't look like a man. It wasn't recognizable as a man. All you see was blood. From his head. From his face. From his side. From his back, from his hands, from his feet, and that blood fell to the ground. But God says, it was precious blood. 
The Bible says we are not redeemed with silver or gold. Biblia goebneba ro okroti da zvertskhit aravart gamosqiduli. We are not redeemed with corruptible things. Korupts korupsiuli namebit aravart gamosqiduli. But we are redeemed with the precious blood of Christ. Aramets Jesus Christes zvirpasi sisqhlit. It was that blood that washed your sins away. Es iqo is sisqhli romelmat sheni tsodwa gatsminda. Thank you Jesus. Madloba Jesus. Thank you for shedding your blood for us. Madloba ro sheni sisqhli dagware chwentvis. That's why we should obey him. Amitom chven unda davemorchilot mas. Because of the sacrifice he made for us. Imitom ro es iqo mskhverpli romelis man chwentvis gatsia. There was never any love so greater than that. Da ar arsebobda sva amdena didebuli siqvaruli. It wasn't the nails that held him to the cross. Da ar iqo is lursnebi romelis mas im jwarze alursmebda akavebda. He could have come down on that cross any time. Shezlo im juri da nebismier tsams gat chamosul iqo. It was his love for you and me. Magram es iqo mis sti siqvaruli shen da mi da chem da mi romelis akavebda mas im jwarze. What amazing love. Ra didebuli siqvarulia. Who is this Lord that we should obey him? In verse 6 says he has made us kings and priests. He has made us kings and priests. It would be wonderful just for his, that he saved us and gives us eternal life. Arikne boda sakmari sa dide buli rom kadagver chine samudamos itsots khlis tvis. So the one day we will share heaven with him. Rom er dges setsa samepos ga mastan ertat vikne boditi. But he did more than that. Magra magaze meti gaak etama. He made us kings. Man chen mepebat gaak khada. You are not an ordinary person when you come to Jesus. Lonely. You are not an ordinary person. Ah, chole brivi adamiani agara kharotsa Jesus tan moti khar. You are a king. Hallelujah. Shen tkuen mepe da dedo pali khart. King Paul. Hallelujah. Mepe Paule. What does the king do? Rari samepo. He reigns. He reigns. A king reigns. Ah, mepe me pops. In the Garden of Eden. Eden is barshi. God said to Adam, "E upal ma utra Adams." Have dominion. Im epe. Reign over the earth. Im da e uple de damitas. But Eve took the fruit. She disobeyed God. Magram Eva mshich ama na kopida arda emor chilag mer. Disobedience started there in the Garden of Eden. Da emor chile bloba Eden is barshi da itzko. And Adam knew he was committing treason against God, and he took that fruit. Adam ma itzko darog mer tis ina agm de gmidi odarod esat chiam da im na kops. And he lost that dominion. Da man dak arga is mepoba. And it was given into the hands of Satan. Da Satan is khelshi ko gadet semuli. That's why Satan is the god of this world. Amit Omar is rosat ana dedamit is mepia. People say if God is good, why is there so much trouble in the world? Adam yane bi ambo ben tu khmerti aseti etili arato wa dedamit aze amdeni sikule. And they blame God. Da khmer sada na shaule ben. Well, they've not read the Bible. Magre mark it khulo ben Biblias. So the Bible says the devil is the god of this world. Im taro Biblia gob ne baro sad ana ishmak iari sam karos plobeli. At this moment. Am tams. Remember when Jesus was tempted by Satan? Is gachsot rodesat yes sot tune buli rodesat yes sot tsnil obda etchmak yet tsune bina. He took Jesus onto the a high mountain. Ay kwana yes so magal taze. And he said he showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Da nat kwamia ro achena sam karos qela samepo. He said if you will fall down and worship me. Da utkha tu taqwan da etsemi da taqwas seme. I'll give you all these kingdoms and the glory of them. Moxe mo am qela samepos didebas. Because they've been delivered to me. Imit oro chem tsis iqo gadmotsemuli. Jesus didn't argue with Satan. Ieso satanastan ar udavia. Because when he was pulling the grave, uh pulling the grave. Jesus when Jesus was pulling the grave, when Jesus was pulling the tomb. Yeah. He didn't stay there. Imit oro rodesat ieso saplavshi moxda ik ar darchenila. Do you know where he went? Isi satsavida. He went down into hell. Ik jojoxetshi chavida. And there he did something interesting. Da ik kida varis ragatsa zalian saintereso. He said he took the keys from Satan. Natkvamia rom gasatanas gasaghebi gamoartva. 
He didn't say Satan give them to me. He took them from him. Aradi natkwa miro Satan am gadasa natkwa miro gamu artwa. The key, I've only got one key here. <laughs> At home, I've got a bunch of keys. Keys are a symbol of authority. <laughs> On my key ring at home, I've got a key to a house in the in Wales in the United Kingdom. Ah, Max Gasser, the keyhole. I've got a key to a house in Wales. Ah, Max Gasser, be chemi sahli sabrit anechi. If I'm going through Wales, to Brit anechi mogza Europe, and I want to stop and have a rest, minda goucher de da daviswe no. I want to make a cup of tea. Da chai davlio. I can go into that house. Chemi zliya im sahshi tsavide. No one will stop me. Aravin argama chereps. Because I've got a key. Imit arom gasser be Max. Amen. And Jesus said, I give you authority. I give you the keys. I want you to reign on this earth. Taking dominion over the works of the enemy. Destroying the powers of the enemy. I told them the other night. The difference between authority and power. If you're in a big city. There's much traffic. Like in Paris in France. Suddenly a little man in, in a uniform. uniform he blows a whistle. He puts a hand up. And when he puts his hand up, all the cars stop. Why? When he puts his hand up, he has the authority of the French government behind him. And they've got to stop. If he, if he used power to stop them, that I used to play a game called rugby. In the scrum, a lot of fighting. <laughs> and the man with a whistle would blow. <laughs> he says, if you do that again, oh. he's got authority. You don't argue with him. And Jesus, I give you authority. What's the authority we have? He says, in my name. The name of Jesus. It's not just using it like a magic word. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. It's magic but it's knowing that when you speak in the name of Jesus, the authority of heaven is behind you. Quite often when I said there's power in the name of Jesus, God will heal people. Because there is power. In the name of Jesus. I believe he just touched somebody there. If you had pain in your body, just try it right now. If the pain's gone, just lift your hand. Someone who had pain, the pain's gone. Where are you? There's somebody I know in the meeting. You had pain when you came in. It's gone. Where are I don't know where you are. I can't. There's a lot of people here. I believe it was someone's spine. Somebody had pain in your back. In your back. There, praise God. Yeah, thank you, Lord. 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 There is power in the name of Jesus. But he's also made us priests. 
Magram aseve man chen gdulevi gakhada. What does the priest do? Rasak etes gdulevi. He offers sacrifices. Igi shesets iraus iraus. We don't have to offer sacrifices of animals. Ah, umet agar wak etet tshawle bishet iraus. But the Bible says. We are to offer sacrifices of praise to God continually. Not just on Sundays. But continually. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. And there's another important sacrifice. The Bible says, present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy acceptable to God. If you want to live for Christ, you've got to, you've got to die. Hmm? A dead person will not speak back to you. You can kick a dead person. You can what? Kick a dead person. They will not get up and kick you back. You can hit a dead person. They will not hit you back. And when you die to self, then Jesus can live his life through you. That's why Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Not I, but Christ lives in me. And he wants to live his life in every one of you. That's why we should obey him. Who is this Lord that we should obey him? He's the one who's coming. He's coming again. And I believe that's going to happen very, very soon. I don't know the day, I don't know the hour. But I see the season all in the world. All pointing to the fact that Jesus is coming again. I believe he's coming for his bride. He's the bridegroom coming for his bride. That is Rogers. He's coming for his bride. He's the head coming for his body. And we'll be united with him. And then I believe we will come back with him. My, my view, I, this is my view, people differ, but I believe there are two parts to the coming of Jesus. I believe he comes for his church. And then he comes with his church. When every eye will see him. He's coming with clouds. That's why we should obey him. Who is the Lord that we should obey him? He's the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. He knows all things. He's got the answer to every question you have. That's why we should obey him. Who is the Lord that we should obey him? In verse 8 it says, He is the Almighty. Verse 8, the Almighty. He is not just God. He is not just mighty God. He is Almighty God. That means there's nothing you cannot do. To those who believe, all things are possible. Glory to God. That's why we that should obey him. There's so much more, I don't have time. Let me just finish with one other thing. Yeah, let me just finish with one other thing. Verse 14. 
Hello. Hello. He says, his eyes are as a flame of fire. Now that's a very interesting statement. His eyes were a flame of fire. The Bible says there's no other foundation except Jesus Christ. If you don't have Jesus in your life, you have no foundation. But then it says let every person take care how they build on that foundation. There are six building materials. Gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and straw. I don't know. Tiva da guys tiha. And every day you're building with those materials. When you obey God, you're building with gold and silver. When you encourage one another, you speak good about one another. You help people. You're building with gold and silver. When you pull people down, when you have bitterness and resentment you're building with wood, hay and straw and the Bible says one day the, the building you have built will be tested by fire and I believe that's the eyes of Jesus we will we'll look into your heart and into your life what building have you built the gold or silver the precious stones will be purified the wood and straw and hay will be burned away it doesn't mean you won't go to heaven but you will not gain rewards the Bible says Jesus said I am coming and my rewards are with me to give every man every woman as his work shall be so there will be rewards and how we live now determines how we will serve God for all eternity when you go to heaven, you're not going to sit on a cloud playing a harp. There's work to be done. God talks about ruling over cities. God talks about ruling over cities. So what you do now will determine what you do. That's what, why we should obey. I have two questions for you this morning. Is Jesus your savior? Have you been born again? If you're not, you can be this morning. And if you're born again, my question is, is Jesus the Lord of your life? If Jesus is Lord, you can never say no, Lord. If you say no, Lord, then he's not Lord. If he is Lord, he is Lord of your home, your family, your car, your money, he is Lord of everything. It doesn't belong to you anymore. And if God says use it for something, you can only say yes if he's Lord. 
შენ მხოლოდ თუ ის შენი უფალია მხოლოდ კის თქმა შეგიძლია so those are two questions for you და ეს არის ის ორი კითხვა if you've never been born again თუ ხელ ახლა არასოდეს ყოფილ ხარ შობილი jesus said unless you're born again იესო ამბობს რომ სანამ ხელ ახლა არ არის ქნები შობილი you'll never see the kingdom of god ღმერთი სამეფოს ვერასოდეს იფება იხილავ to be born again you've got to do two things და იმისათვის რომ ხელ ახლა იქნო შობილი ორი რამ უნდა გააკეთო jesus said repent იესო თქვა მოინანიე and believe and believe და ირწმუნე some people have never repented ari adamianeb rosets ara sodes mounania the bible says jesus came to call sinners to repentance da biblia gweobneba ro ieso movida ratsa tsodvilebi mosananiebnat moitsodos to repent means da ro mounanio nishnavs you stop the life you're living shen cherdebi im tsxovrebistvis romelsats tsxovrob you turn completely around da sruliat trialdebi and go in a new way da midi khar akhali gzit leaving all that past behind da qela pera im tsarsos ukan to believe means to receive dar irtsmuno nishnas miigo if someone gives you offers you a gift tu vigatsa shen sachukars khstavazobs it only belongs to you when you take it shen gekotnis kholod mashin rodesat amas igeb god loves everyone if you hear so much da gmers titouli tkhen dagani ak mqopi imdenad uqars he gave the most precious gift rom man qvelaze zirfasi sachukari ga misca the gift of his son the lord jesus christ misi uzis upali yeso christe sachukari says to those who receive him da ambobs is vits miigebs mas to them god gives the privilege mat upali azlevs privilegias upiratesobas ro gaxtes gmertis shvili i want to give you that opportunity first of all da me minda mokse tkven pirvel rikshi shesazlebloba i want you to bow your heads and close your eyes da khut da aguno tkveni tva tavebi da da khucho tkveni tvalebi and i'm going to say a little prayer da me vitqvim mokle lotsvas Julia will interpret. Juli gada targmnis. And after she's interpreted. Da imis shemdeg rotsa gada targmnis. I want you to pray this prayer from your heart. Pray it out loud from your heart. Minda ro es lotsa tkveni gulebi da khma magla ilotsot. Even if you pray before. Tundats manamde kondet nalotsi. Just pray this now. Ubralot ekhlats ekhla ilotset. Lord Jesus Christ. Upalo Yesu Kriste. I come to you today. Modi var dres shentan. I confess I am a sinner. Vagiare bghmerto ro var tsodvili. Because the Bible says. Imito ro Biblia ambobs. We have all sinned. Ro mqvelam shevtsodet. And come short of the glory of God. Da moshorebulebi var tghmertis didebas. And that includes me. Da es chemis chatulita. But I believe Jesus. Magram tsams Yeso. That you died on the cross. Ro shen mokdi jwarze. In my place. ჩემს ნაცვლად ჩემს ადგილას taking the punishment for my sins ჩემი ცოდვების სასჯელის აღება აღებით and you pour out your precious blood და შენი ძვირფასი სისხლი დაღვარე to wash my sins away ჩემი ცოდვების განსაწმენდად i repent of my sins მე ვინანიებ ჩემს ცოდვებს i turn away from them ზურგს ვაქცევ მათ I turn to you with all my heart. Shenskev brundebi mteli chemi gulit. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Shemodi chems gulshi upalo Yeso. Come into my life right now. Chems sitsot tsxorebashi shemodi akhla. By your spirit. Sheni sulit. And give to me the free gift. Da mometsi me es tavisupali sachukari. Of eternal life. Mara diuli sitsotsxlis. I receive you now. Da me gebulob shen. Thank you for coming into my life. Madloba rom shemoxodi chems tsxorebashi. Now I believe in my heart. Da me chems gulshi akhlam tsams. And I confess with my mouth. Da chemi pir bagit vagiareb. That Jesus is the son of God. Rom Yesu aris uplis dze, gmertis dze. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Rom upali Yesu Christ. Rom Yesu Christ aris upali. And God has raised him from the dead. Da gmert ma is kudreti ta gadgina. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. Da madlo bas gikti shen upalo rom gada marchine. For making me a child of God. Da gam khade gmerti shuli. Amen. Amen. Why are we still in prayer for?